Okay, guys, I'm going to do a quick update on uh, Lamine Sar. He's the guy, the kid who um, got uh, taken by the Riptide um, last weekend. Uh, this is just a quick update for you guys. Um, authorities have discovered the body of a, t of a teenage boy who was reportedly pulled out to sea by a Riptide while swimming at Rockaway Beach. Uh, last weekend. Um, NYPD said a corpse with no obvious signs of trauma was discovered at Beach 97th Street on Tuesday morning. The body was later identified as 17-year-old Lamine Sar, who was last seen on Saturday swimming with his two friends in the surf at Beach 84th Street. Okay. Um, According to his friend, all three boys uh, were not strong swimmers and never intended to go in past their waist. But after a little while, they couldn't feel their feet touching the ground. They turned around and Lamine wasn't there. The friend told uh, the police. Two, the two boys had already made it back to the shore by the time first responders arrived on the scene at 5 p.m. on Saturday. But there was no sign of SAR. The search continued until Marine units were able to locate the body this morning. Family members and friends described Sar as happy, intelligent, and helpful, noting his love of music and basketball. Um, it's very this this story is is very heartbreaking um, because you don't think that. You don't really think that when you go swimming that, you know, you're not going to make it back. Uh, you know, you're thinking you're going with your friends, you're going to have a good time, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You don't expect these things to happen. Uh, Katie Saar on Monday who said, the one thing I want is to find my son. I know he's dead, but I want to see my son um, and get help to send my baby back home to Africa to Singal, where he's from. On Monday afternoon, friends and family gathered at the Channel View School for Research in Rockaway Park to celebrate the high school senior's life. He was an amazing person and he didn't deserve this. Um, according to the National Park Service, there was a moderate risk of rip currents reported for the weekend. Beat season had concluded one week earlier, so there was no lifeguard on duty, the city parks department said. Around 100 people die in the rip currents in America each year. The United States swimmers are typically advised to paddle parallel to the shore to escape the deadly currents. But in other countries like Australia, recent research into riptides has pushed authorities to alter their recommendations in cases urging swimmers to give in and go with the flow until they are hopefully swept back to shore. Everything we've done points to the fact that there's not one single message that works. Rob Brander, a professor at the University of New South Wales who works closely with the country's main water safety group, sometimes swim parallel is great, sometimes it doesn't work. Same for floating. Uh, the city medical examiner will determine the cause of death and the investigation remains ongoing. Um, you know what? Like... The riptides were probably very bad just due to the hurricane, um, hurricane Florence and the fact that, you know, the ocean was not at its calmest, uh, point, um, that day or that we, last weekend in general. Um, so who, you know what I mean? Who really thinks that that's going to happen? Um, but guys, please, uh, if there are no lifeguards on duty and you guys are not like good, good swimmers, I mean, people who are good swimmers know they're good swimmers. Um, and even excellent swimmers um, get caught up in riptides and die. So that's not even a guarantee. Just be careful. Try to avoid going in the water when there's no lifeguards. Try to avoid the water in general, um, just for your own safety. Um, Nothing's worth this, you know, and now his family has to bury him and get him back to 
his home in Africa. And you know what? It, it was so unnecessary. Um, and like I said, if you want to sit on the beach, you want to hang out on the beach, you want to put your feet in the water, sit down and put your feet in the water. Let the tide come up on you. You know, you could still enjoy the water without actually getting in. Um, lifeguards are on duty there for a reason. Rockaway Beach is known for its pretty strong currents. So just guys, be careful. Um, just think, you know, th just think about what you're doing before you do it. And, uh, you know, I, 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 my prayers to his family and, you know, um, just strength to his mother. Uh, and God bless. I will keep up with this story um, when the medical examiner releases its report. Um, if they do make it public, I will definitely update the story and let you know uh, what the findings were beside drowning. Um, and that's it for me, guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a quick update on...